Savage AF, mm -hmm. I, I don't want to, I, I, I don't even know what to do anymore. I fixed the phone. It should be working fine. Wait for everybody to jump on. And everybody and their mother called me. And for some reason, the call drops out since Pedro sent. Uh, wait for him to jump back on. We'll finish the conversation. Hopefully, nobody will call me now. And hopefully, uh, Pedro will get power back. And hopefully, Man. COVID won't go away. And hopefully, the world will be in a better place. By the way, they are the uh, LA DWP is now 48 minutes delinquent on their uh, 230 uh, promise that we would have uh, power back. So, uh, yeah, that's so they're beyond. So, we're, yeah, we're, they, come on, LA WDP, DWP. I mean, give, give me my shit back. Um, Speaking of getting shit back, man, uh, we, we were talking about, we popped off the show originally, talking about uh, the Gap Band. Not the music, but the growing Not, gap but, but between... But the, the financial gap. The financial the growing gap. Yeah. financial gap between the extremely wealthy and us, <laughs> the rest of us. And if you have to ask, you ain't one of them. Uh, <laughs> but they are... Uh, certain Americans were able to save $3.2 trillion in the month of July during this pandemic while during that same month, again, I'll repeat it, one in seven households in America reported uh, food insecurity for their children. Uh, Dane, same most. I see you. What's going on, bro? Uh, Miss Avery. Everybody Mr. jump back on. Thank you so much. Trish, we appreciate Lou, it. We love y'all. Um, so, you know, let's, let's, let's always keep in mind that before the pandemic hit, there was this thing already going on, this growing wealth gap. That's what Bernie <laughs> Sanders was talking about, people like AOC. Uh, progress progressive leftists uh, should be understanding this. This is a, a major part of that platform. Um, but during this pandemic, it has only gotten worse. And I just want to highlight, and this is just off the top of my own head, is like, you know, like a fellow alumni of mine, uh, Jeff Bezos, who, who started Amazon. I mean, right. think about what a company like that was already doing, how even more necessary they became during this time. And how he's been able to bank out any and all competition in there. And what's that going to mean for a future for a company like that and a guy like that? Jeff Bezos got over, is getting over during this time. I'm right. I mean? Yeah. How like, much How much richer can the fucking, just to say you know, that, what I want to ask is how much richer can Amazon get? Okay. He's what are they just going to own? Uh, yeah. Value, own our souls. towards a trill. Right. I mean, it's going to be more than a trail after this because I think the shit's going to go for a while because people are, are gathering down at fucking beaches like it's nothing. And there's people like they showed photos of people down at the beaches like, hey, it's a normal fucking uh, weekend. It's not a normal weekend. Get your ass in the fucking house we or don't you. gather with more than people, 10 people. What part we of that you. don't you understand? And I'm going to tell you who's doing it the most. And I'm, I'm breaking it down. And this is a fact. It's European Americans. It is black folks doing stupid shit and doing dumb shit, too. I'm not saying that they're not. But guess what? This real shit. The bulk of the people that are fucking this up, Iowa, South Dakota, and it is Iowa now, South Dakota, uh, on and on and on, West Virginia and all of that, is these fucking idiots that are keep going out there and doing this. And it is these fucking idiots. It's not all Caucasians, but it's a big portion of Caucasians, and they're the ones showing their ass, and they're the ones driving the big trucks out there with Trump 2020, woo, and feeling like they should get their freedom. And if you ask for just equality, they get mad. They get mad at you for just walking with a sign about equality. They don't even want you to be fucking equal. So fuck all y'all, and my fuck my phone, and fuck with the world, and fuck the fact that Pedro didn't get any goddamn power, and that's that's what I got to say. And now you shit doing this. Lego man's you. I got, okay. Okay. It, it, it's, it's now it's freezing. You froze. Uh, I can hear you. It's 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 it, like on my side. It's, it's it's clean. I can see everything. Pedro is frozen like Darren's Gucci. 
Wow. Wow. Pedro, you're frozen. Don't log. Now it's Pedro. It, my phone seems to be, you know, why is IG hating? No idea why IG hating. Pedro looking like a fried. Shut up. I'm going to log off Pedro and I'm going to log back on. I have no idea. There you go. There you go. It's pixelated. It's not better, pixelated on this side. Yeah, like I said, I, I, I'm in a power outage, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm coming up on 24 hours with no power in my place. I niggas had to go uh, buy ice. Can you hear me now? Are we good? I can hear you completely. Okay. So I, I just. And you're clear. Get, and you're clear now. I had to get up and move towards the window and hold my hand to the sky. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I have no. I have no oh, uh, man. Wi Fi right now. So I'm going off of bars and I got one. Uh, let me go. I ahead. think that was part of my problem. I had to get a new SIM card. I, you know, my SIM card was best, was messed up. Okay. Okay. There you go. And so yeah. I went to I went to the place and got a SIM card, and now it was clear. And I tested it a couple of times before we did this, but I also didn't know how to block when people are calling because when they call, it makes your sound go silent, and I have right. no idea. But now you're not pixelated. You look good. I can hear you. No, right, what, cool. what you were, what you were saying, I, I agree with you. I'm sorry I said fuck the world, fuck everybody, fuck my phone, and I really mean that. I mean it's just like I'm tired of I'm so tired of us. <laughs> Giving them a fucking pass. We give the the, the, the top one percent a pass. We give um, Caucasians a pass for being assholes and idiots and yelling at us and walking up in the fucking Michigan state capitol with automatic weapons and screaming and that yelling. Why would you giving them a fucking pass? Fuck them. Yeah. Fuck them. If you ain't gonna act like a human being and let us just be and let you people know, be, then fuck you. You know what the saddest part about it, and I'm, I'm glad you brought up those groups, is that. Uh, and I see you, J-R-A-M-Y-C. I, I, I am twinkling my toes while holding this motherfucker up to the sun. <laughs> Point my finger <laughs> at the moon. Uh, thanks, Eve. But, uh, you know, those armed militia, European-American guys, you know, the honky-monky cracker fucks, uh, they are not part of the 1%. Yet they're out here fighting to protect all of that and to protect that system. They love that shit. But they're, they're, they're just as excluded as, as, as we are as people of color. Um, so w once an awakening along those lines occurs before, uh, you know, some serious happens, America will change. But you, you, the, the real gap in America, the real ism is, is wealthism, it is, is the wealthy's constant attack on the middle and lower class, the poorer people of America to keep them there while they garnish as much as they can. And that's, that's just their goal in life. That's all they know is to keep right. getting more and keep you know, spending brown and black bodies, yellow bodies, anything but European American bodies so that they can keep getting theirs, man. That's that's yeah, that's, you're right. that's the real you're absolutely right. Man, so. um, and that, also uh, read what pretty on the left said. What she say where she is. Uh, saying did y'all hear about Citrus Hitler Hitler trying <laughs> Citrus Hitler, we got a new one, uh, <laughs> trying to stop the census. Um, I mean, you know, we know they tried to use the census for to basically to track immigrants. Uh, you know, it, it, none of that shit surprises me, man. You, I know he, you're freezing. He wants a ban. He wants a. I know Trumpy Dumpty said he wants a ban on uh, on diversity training in corporate America. All that shit is to distract you from money going out the door <laughs> you know what i mean like that that's what right and it's about. also part of his this part of his racist agenda it's also part of his racist racist agenda pertaining to how he wants the world to be and he wants to be white america's instead of all americans he wants to be white america's savior you know he wants to be the one that's fighting for white america and they're buying into the shit so i don't know what to do no more i just feel like uh uh, you know, I just feel like, like you said, I mean, I so want, I want, I want to get it like a Goliath. Like you said, you're going to get a Goliath. Um, Leviathan. I want to get Leviathan. Leviathan. Oh, which is, yeah. Goliath is a step down from Leviathan. So <laughs> I, I, no, I, I don't know what just, the hierarchy is, but just get, get some beasts in your closet. Get uh, some beasts in you. Yeah. Because when I saw some of the stuff that was going on this weekend pertaining to the protests, 
And I saw how uh, the right wing was acting. I just was like, man, there ain't no fucking negotiating with them. There's no talk to them. This video showed them screaming, yelling, throwing stuff at them. And these protesters were not being violent. It is bullshit. They were not being violent. Actually, so there's yeah. no reason for that. I didn't have this on the list, but I, I did. I, I, I did love the show that the NFAC, the Not Fucking Around Coalition. And, you know, like I said, I, I don't know much about them. They don't have much in writing online. Um, but he hearing their leaders speak, um, they, ju they seem to be doing what he says they're there to do, which is to just kind of back up other movements um, with this right. kind of silent, silent, you know, but deadly sort of presence. Um, and uh, they, they ran up on the uh, Kentucky Derby, you know, um, that being, you know, the area and site where we are fighting for justice for Breonna Taylor. Um, they felt it was important to disrupt that uh, or to be there as part of the disruption of, of that, you know, American tradition. So sh shout out to that as, a, as, a, as, a, as an act, at least. If we don't know much about the right. movement of the NFAC, I, I do appreciate that act in Louisville there. Um, but right. speak, speak and uh, there's a Congress. Okay. Go I'm sorry. It was, I was going to say there was a congressman that saw this and said that if he sees any black men, you saw, yeah, did you see the, the person yeah, that was saying that? If he sees any black person or sees any person with a gun, uh, he's a F a ex FBI or ex CIA. SWAT. SWAT. He said, he SWAT. said we're okay, SWAT. Yes, yeah. we're SWAT. We're gonna drop you. We're gonna drop you where you stand. And I'm like, so it's okay for European Americans to walk around with automatic weapons, AR-15s, um, body armor, throwing stuff at people and do it. That's okay. And shooting people with um, pellet guns and um, Paint guns. Uh, paint guns with marbles in it. That's okay. But someone shows, uh, like, hey, I'm going to, you know, respect the sanctity, the sanctity of my life and other people's life, and I'm going to do what is actually a legal, that I get to drop by the ex-SWAT guy. So, I mean, I think it Collins, just makes me I think frustrated. Collins is that, uh, that congressman's name. Right? Yes. Uh, maybe, maybe like Tim Collins or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, uh, so... These are the things we need to watch out for. And they're all part of this other systematic thing, right? Uh, and this is why it's important that we all get together on a platform like Savage AF. Um, yeah. Myself, Black Pedro, and at Comedian Shang. Make sure you're following us both. Because um, we need to educate ourselves, right? Uh, because something I also learned from the, the IG handle, We Are Push Black, uh, is that, and I didn't know this, is that black empowerment and literature is not allowed in in the prison system like blacks aren't allowed to read malcolm x's um autobiography and and, and any other works that you know according to the prison system you know they don't allow supremacist literature which is why mein Kampf, hitler's you know seminal work is not allowed in the prison system either but I'm like, to equate the autobiography of Malcolm X to Mein Kampf, uh, y'all are out of y'all cracker-ass mind. <laughs> like, really, dude. Like, like, beyond, like, beyond the prison system itself, like, that's one of the most cracker, monkey-minded, honky-monkey things I've ever heard in my life. To say that Mein Kampf and the autobiography of Malcolm X... <laughs> Are, are 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 the same? Are are both supremacist materials? Nah, bro. You know this 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 is what uh, is fucked up about America, right? Right. Is black is black power and white power are not the same thing. Black power is a fight for equality. White power is a fight for supremacy, singularity, right? right? Isolationism. They don't want us here anymore. We did all the work. Get the fuck out now, right? Go back to Africa. Like, and, and to not, to have the whole federal prison system lay it out like that is just telling us to what America really is. You know what I mean? Like, that, that's, that's what we're dealing with here. The, that, that's the other ism beyond the wealth gap, but, but it's part of it, right? Lock us up, make us slaves again. And, uh, and, and now we're supremacists when we try and enlighten ourselves right. beyond, beyond being this invalid slave, you know, subjugative beast. But also, if you look in the prisons, there's a lot of Aryan race um, gangs 
that are, you know, basically being fed information and literature, and they don't really sweat them as much. So if you can't see it now, if you can't see the, how slanted this shit is now, then you are just a blind monkey funk. And you, <laughs> you are just, yes, I don't know if that's a, a word, donkey. monkey funk. You are a ho donkey. Yeah, a ho donkey, uh, uh, a, 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 a slap nugget. I just, I just don't understand what it, part of this you can't see. The fact that Trump is tripling down. Did I say quadrupling down? I'm going to use that on good. the race car. On the race car, he's definitely quadrupling down on that. The fact that the GOP is actually backing him up, even when they disagree on shit he says. So what else do we need to see? And then when you look at the prison system, not allowing people that are locked up to actually have some kind of and maybe they're not locked up for their whole life. Maybe they'll get out and have a, a, a semblance of, you know, self-esteem and power because they read these books. But nah, we can't even give you that. We can't even give you that. So that's what and, we're dealing and, with. That's what the fuck so, we're doing. And so that's, that's um, you know, just part of the, the greater tradition of keeping us specifically, black people, uneducated. You know, it, it leads all the way up to the inequalities in educational systems, uh, the basis for funding those educational systems on property taxes and the devaluing of black and brown neighborhoods so that they don't have as much money to put into their school systems because their property value isn't worth shit, according to yeah. who. But, um, you know, but, uh, but then when it's time to gentrify some shit, all of a sudden this, this is valuable land, so... You know, understand they're constantly playing this game of spinning shit, but not having black empowerment books in prison systems is part of the tradition the game. of not, not allowing even slaves to read anything but the Bible. And I don't, I don't want to get on my religious folks, but I do always challenge you a bit to just think about why the Bible was the only book that a slave, if they were allowed to learn to read, that was the only book that they were allowed to read from. I just, Which, I, need, yeah. I just need you to sit in the tub and let that soak with you for a minute. Let the, light the candle. Get the bubbles. <laughs> do the toast. Get your bubbles going. Put on get your air Badu. Yeah, whatever you yeah, need. Yeah, put fellas, your air Badu on. Mood. But and let that, let, let, that, let, let that sink, sink in. in so that when, when there is just, understand when they only let you acquire certain information, you got to question why this other information is left out. And right, and uh, Eve all. underscore Apple 7916, uh, the queen of, of the show, much, uh, you are a queen to me. Uh, Eve said, uh, the Bible is just basically teaching, teaching you how to be a better slave. And I think that sometimes when you look at people that are religious, in fact, I just posted something that got a lot of hits about religious people, how duped they are, how blind they are, how they follow this shit and they actually, there's Christians that actually believe Trump will sit here to save us, and, and he's washed in the blood of Jesus Christ, and that's right. why he is here to save us. And that is all Christianity, and the Christianity had the tendency to basically, like the, like I go back to Gary Oldman in the movie um, with Denzel Washington, um, the, the, the Book of Eli, where he's, you know, he said, it's just a book. It's a weapon. It's a weapon. It's a weapon. Mechanism of control, but um, and JRA NYC said, Wasn't Willie Lynch a Christian? Now you're asking too many questions. Shh, you talking freedom, yeah. get out of here. No, yeah, you know, those who don't know, they don't even understand the Willie Lynch reference, but yeah, um, but all of that is just to say that the control of media, uh, in this way has always been deliberate in America, and um, and, and that honestly leads us to our next story. Uh, Savage AF Laugh Factory Radio powered by Dash. Uh, make sure you follow uh, also, at Savage um, AF Radio um, yeah. on IG. Yes. Yeah. Savage AF Radio on, on Facebook is Savage AF. That's the fan page. Make sure you join us on the um, podcast version of it iTunes, Slacker, Stitcher, Google Play, iHeartRadio, Spotify, and SoundCloud. Now, now the, sec the next one we'll talk about, it's just crazy that history just said, yeah, we ain't going to even let you know about this. You know, this one girl. We ain't going to let you know. Control of media and information, right? So um, there was a church bombing at the basement, Alabama. Four yeah. little girls were killed. 
we all know this story. If you don't, uh, blender hat time. Take a blender, turn yes. it upside down, put it on your head, turn it on. Um, but for those of us who do know, um, and, and, you know, kudos to you if you knew this, which isn't to say that I'm supposed to know everything. But, you know, when you, when you, when you believe you pay attention, you, you really feel like you are informed. Right. right? But it, it, it broke my heart last week. Uh, once again, this is a We Are Push Black um, story that I got that I, that I just used as a jumping pad, by the way. I don't, I don't just use, you know, an uh, IG handle to right to, to, for to my say information, all the but then I'll use right. it to begin Googling things and cross-referencing um, articles and, and trying to learn in that way. Um, but there was a fifth little girl in that basement, and, and she survived to this day. Uh, Sarah Collins is her name. And as part of her recovery, she eventually lost her right eye due to glass in it. And her left eye still has glass and her chest both have glass in them. Uh, she has gotten no help from the government or any other entity in reality. Uh, Donnie, welcome to the show. Bermuda's in the What's house. Up? She has gotten no help uh, in any way over the years through her medical bill struggles. Uh, she's definitely a survivor of an act of terrorism. So understand that survivors of 9-11 and their families have gotten uh, reparations. Oop, crazy word. They got healthcare. Uh, They've gotten Boston. Yeah. Boston uh, Marathon bomber survivors Bombers. got same thing. Uh, but Sarah, they, Sarah they say, "Well, that was too long ago, Pedro." Hey, wait a minute, Pedro. Let me tell you something, man. First off, that was a long time ago. Why you keep bringing it up? Why you keep bringing up shit like that? Okay, let me explain something to you. All right? It's it was called over, history, okay? Cletus. It's over. It's, We're it's talking about right now. It's subject. It's called history, Cletus. Oh, what the hell it's are you life. talking about? Okay, it's, it's history. Well, let me tell you what it is, man. Okay, okay. Like for instance, I, I I took a loan out a year ago, and I said they asked me for the money back, and I said, "Wait a minute, man, that ain't nothing but history." Okay, that was a year ago. <laughs> That's why you bringing the oh, you? Okay, I see your point. I see your point. I see. I see what you're saying. You see what I'm saying? But <laughs> that was before. This is now. Come on, finish what you're saying. But I'm telling you right now. And another thing, that fifth girl, she's lucky she even got out. She she should just be happy, be black. That's what I hate about. America, where they want you just to be happy with, hey, well, at least you should be just happy with what you got. I understand gratitude, and I am have gratitude, the fact that I'm still alive, I'm still here, COVID, the whole nine is fucked up. But guess what? At the same time, sometimes you don't have to have gratitude for shit that you deserve. Like, it's shit you deserve. It's shit that's yours. And that's the thing where they said about <clears throat> this woman, where well, she should just, and this was a congressman that said she should just be happy she's alive. Wow! Listen, man. Listen, man. Uh, and what, I'm doing this, my Kermit Frog. <laughs> and th this should just hit me now during this conversation, based on what we were talking about the, on, uh, about the Bible during the last topic, um, is that what, you had, what, what we saw is, you know, presumed Christian, Christian white men, bombing a Christian institution filled with other Christians who just happened to look different than them. And they were babies. They were children. But one of yes. them lived and has gotten no help, really, from anybody. Like, a GoFundMe got started, and it, it's really not doing much. Um, I'm sorry I can't present the information to you guys right now, but I, I will hang on to this story for a while. Tomorrow, I'll, I'll be able to, hopefully, if I get some, uh, <laughs> if you're wondering why. <laughs> so why I'm, I'm the, the hey, uh, hey. It, they, it, it, so it's lasted. How long has it lasted? Has it been um, for a while? Because here it went out, and then it a little bit it came back. Oh yeah, and no, I'm 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 approaching 24 hours. I was literally in the yesterday was a weird day. I had a great headshot session with a, a photographer I'd never worked with before. Uh, my, man, my managers, you know, basically were like, "Go to this guy," uh, and we were both like, "This is the most fun I've ever had on a shoot." <laughs> and I was like, "So it was a good old time." Came back, had a Google uh, Meet conference with my mother and my sister to discuss uh, basically my mother's will and her death and how um, me and my sister will fight over the property to the death. Uh, yes. Jo joking, but, uh, <laughs> but we did joking. have that conversation. I, look, I know people going to take you serious. They'd you like, what? what? <laughs> but, no. Uh, no. No. But, uh, but as we were trying to wrap that conversation up, 
and all my power went out. And, and like when it was sad because when the fans stopped, stopped spinning in this heat, and all of a sudden that, that ceiling fan, you're just trying to get under it to get them last three, four swoops. You're like, come on, baby, give me what you got, give me what you got. And you start going. Um, and then when it dies, and you're trying, you flick a switch and you pull a few cords and a Went next door and then and then you start hearing people on the street. They're like, "Is your power out? Yeah, my power out." I was like, "Okay, it's not the building; it's the block." And then you look across the street and you see um, <clears throat> these rich ass pool spa ass niggas with their lights on, and you like, "Fuck your building." And they're over there dancing and waving l lights at you and flashing and shit. But speaking well, of, I building, hope your lights come on because you have a show. Yeah. To, you have a you have a show coming up uh, online too so soon. I just yes, finished yes. the fire with you on it. Yes, yes, yes. We'll be on that uh, tomorrow, and I'm going to give you all those details tomorrow. And you can just hop uh, You froze. Before you we froze. On, I don't Say it I again. Don't... Say okay. You got me now? So, yeah, just speaking it's, it's, of... It's, it's pixelating. It's pix there it is. You're good. Okay. So, speaking of, of buildings, though, be, be, you know, fuck mine. We'll be all right. I'm just... I got Gertrude here. We got ice. We okay. I'll just go to the store, order some food, whatever. Um, uh, but I, I don't, before we bounce to our next subject, I, you know, I, I want us to remember the building, the church in Alabama that was bombed. Four little girls killed. The fifth girl is still alive. And let's, as a community here on Savage AS, think of ways that uh, we can help her out. Get her, I'm going to get this information to you guys. I, I, and we'll like post I said, it up. I'm well, sitting down we'll, right we'll, now, but we'll, we'll get I'll that post to it you up guys, on all my social media, and I'll make sure that we get it out there. And so we can, uh, you know, if they're not going to do it, we're going to have to do it. And that's what I'm starting to feel about everything. I just saw Joe Button going in on Charlemagne about it, and I realized there's a lot of times where you sitting there waiting for people to do it for you, and you can't. You're going to have to do it yourself, and we're going to have to help this lady out ourselves. Um, I think that the one thing I want to say before we jump to the next subject is the fact that, you know, uh, the little girl that got went missing in the sea and actually uh, Patrice does a bit about it, how they spent $28 million searching for her with boats and fucking, you know, ski mobiles and snowmobiles and <laughs> helicopters and submarines and frogmen and shit Train like dolphins. that. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and they're... <laughs> Find her. Echo location, and dolphins and shit. Right. All this other shit. And, and how they, they, with us, it's like, uh, <laughs> hey, you're just lucky you should be alive. <laughs> um, yeah. Yes, Joe Button used to beat up to Harry. Okay. We're not, you know what? I'm talking about how he said something about fucking Charlemagne. Why do people do that? Yeah, but we can't listen to him because he used to physically abuse. Yeah, he absolutely did. But he, I mean, you know, uh, <laughs> we're talking about like that. Allegedly. <laughs> then she put allegedly. So, then, you know, she added the legal term uh, so she don't get sued. I get it. She was. Yeah. She was, Miss Unique. And that's what makes you so unique, love. Um, <laughs> Savage AF, Laugh Factory Radio. Oh, Sean. Sure. So, Comedian. so he here's the thing, man. Um, a lot of what's going on right now is, is really just meant to divide and conquer um and a friend of mine from high school uh shout out to dominique morisseau she's been she's a savage af alumni she's been on the show via phone um but she's a, a tony award uh, nominated writer um she's written on shows like uh shameless um right and, and she had she's one of the hottest black female writers in town definitely right now um, but I saw a post from her about the concept of divide and conquer and the various ways that they achieve it, an attempt to achieve it. And you see all of it going on right now. And I just really want to use this moment to push for everybody, especially of color, people of color, to just keep in mind that the negative things about Kamala, I'm not saying that she doesn't have a past that we... we all Need to. Might, have, might have a problem with. But what I'm saying is that let's understand that the main push, the reason why you're seeing so much of it and all of this stuff is coming out and people are bringing it up, a lot of foreign entities are using that against us, right? You, like putting that shit out under fake handles and fake things, just pushing that information to, to divide us among us, right? 
so that we don't go out and vote. Or if we do, we go vote for fucking Kanye West in some states or shit like that, right? Like just simple shit to fuck with you, right? Like Kanye right. West, Silly shit. Kanye Silly West shit. is on the ballot in 11 motherfucking states for the primary election. He is on the ballot for, I'm sorry, for the general. He is on the ballot for 11 States. He, it, which is a fucking joke. And let's finish. Let me let me just say this flat out. I understand that they like to use divide and conquer. And I understand that. But if you're, we're at a point now where I'm starting to feel like if you're fucking dumb enough to think, well, yeah, I'm gonna vote for Kanye West because his platform is so solid. The motherfucker's brain ain't solid. He's bipolar. What are you talking about? He's worse than Trump, and, and worse than Trump when it comes to mental illness because we've seen that consistently. And Trump is mentally ill, but he's also inherently evil. The bottom line is we you, they keep doing this shit to us. They keep using the divide and conquer, and we keep fucking falling for it. When will your dumb ass stop? Well, like I don't like. Come on, come. I saw one person being a light skinned nigga. I understand why people feel that way because we were in the house and and darker people were not in the house. I understand that that venom still stays after decades and eons and whatever else. But to say you don't like her because she light skinned, that's when you just being an ass. You stupid. And you fuck stupid. you, feed you rocks and take you swimming. End of the day. It's the Republicans and the over, overseas entities that are trying to do the shit, and you're falling for it by saying dumb shit about dumb shit. Trump is the fucking threat. Biden is not the best, but he is getting better. And Kamala is definitely a strong woman of color that can definitely get, is more competent than a fucking Pence who has his head so far up Trump's ass, he can see his kidneys. So suck a dick if you really, and I don't mean a good dick, I'm talking about a disease zombie donkey dick, if you really think that's the case. Sorry, had to get it off my chest. I love the slide. I love to do the slide. Too much on that with these bars. Uh, but Casey, uh, she said, we are voting between fascism and anti-fascism. I just want to add to that a bit and just say that um, I actually believe that America has been in a fascist state for a while. So I think we're voting between fascism and overt fascism, right? Which is to say, like, another Trumpy administration would love to march troops down your street, drag you out your house, and shoot you in your fucking head. Because he said he could shoot somebody in the street and get away with it. Uh, I think there are people who are behind him mentally and philosophically. They are the Mein Kampf people, right? The, 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 the white supremacist literature that's not allowed in jail along with Malcolm X's autobiography. Um, right. You know, that's that's their mindset. So you're voting. Yeah, you're right. You froze for a second there, Pedro. You froze. Go out on the go out on the patio because you seem to be clear when you're on the patio. I'm, 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 shit, I gotta go back outside in the sun. How are we doing? Yeah, we I'm better? sorry, man. I, I, I've okay. been there. I know what you mean. Yeah, um, I know. We, we've been through this. Yeah. Yeah, this is, it's sorry. Tricky but, because my okay, Wi-Fi gotcha. was fucked up and my SIM card was fucked up and now I got that. Your audio is killing me. And now now y'all say, y'all say, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> you sound like okay, a robot. So me, you sound like this. Okay, let but me, he's fine now. Let me let me just try and recap shortly what I what I was yes, saying. Yes, that's it's what I was saying. Say it again. That's what I was like, Pedro, say it again, Pedro. Hey Pedro, say it again, man. Go ahead. Um Okay. You froze so, again. We, we, oh shit. Are we here now? Yeah. <laughs> we got me? Okay. I I can I feel you I feel your pain, brother. I feel you struggle. Right. So there's all these divide and uh conquer mechanisms that are working right now. And Ultimately, I, I need everybody to stay diligent right now, okay? Let's not fall into too many memes or, you know, these little quotes on these social media things and, and think that that's truth or word or, you know, everything we, we need to hear right now, okay? You need to be really diligent about where you get your information and how it's coming in and how you're analyzing it, okay? Because there are so many layers of distraction right now that are trying to keep us from being any kind of unified block. But ultimately, right. I was trying to address 
the idea of that Casey brought up, which is us um, voting between fascism and anti-fascism, and that we are actually in, I think America's for a long time been a fascist country. Fascism is when corporations run the government, and that is ap that the lobbyist system absolutely shows us that. So we've been a fascist country, but I think what we're voting between is fascism and overt fascism or this aggressive white supremacist fascism, Nazism, um, which is, a, I think, a sect of fascism. So right, right now you're voting right. between do you want to fight corporate America, continue to fight or, corporate America, or crackers in the streets? And it could go either yeah. way, but understand that crackers in the streets means you have to operate a different way, black people, and you have to prepare yourself for a thing, because that ain't memes and, and texts and all the other shit. It's a whole other game. So that's really what you're voting between right now is what I believe. So we've always been a fascist country for, for a long, long time, but they're trying to go really, really overt with it now, like drag your ass out your house. Like there are crackers that want to do that right now, and the the president will not stop them. He would love right. to. And that them. just like that kid that that they call him a kid, uh, and Eve is right. That young man that shot two people and they're trying murderer. to say, and he murderer. almost he's a murderer. And the bottom line is he almost raised a million dollars on a GoFundMe. Um, and so so that's where their heads at. They're like, well, we know he did wrong. We don't care. We're gonna fight for him anyway. And that's what we got to start doing for each other a little bit more. Fight for each other full blast. And obviously there's going to be, you know, inconsistencies with everybody. People are human. We check them, but we know which is the lesser of two evils. And one might not be evil. One might be just, you know, discomfort. The other one's evil. Flat out evil. Like, I mean, if you're into Nazism and clearing the country and the world of everybody but your fucking pigmently challenged ass then that's bad, stupid. You, you're being stupid. You're all fucking stupid. And I'm Can't. saying it. I'm no longer... I watched a couple. I should have watched a few videos on the fucking IG, but I did. Get you. And I'm It'll saying get it. You. All of you motherfuckers are stupid. You're stupid if you think that way. You're stupid if you actually think that by dividing yourself up, we're going to have a shot at this. No. We're going to have a shot at nothing. And I'm talking about even the European Americans that do march with us and that do understand that it's absolutely wrong. We're not, you're going you're gonna to be in the same boat even though you think you're not. If you think you're not going to be in the same boat, you might feel a, a, a little bit of like, well, I'm, I got this white privilege thing going on. But trust me, if you're not rich and if you don't have it, you're going to get the fucking, you're going to get the dick up the ass too. And I don't mean in a sexy like, oh, we tried anal. I mean in a owl prison rape kind of way yep yeah I did I, I didn't even think you meant in a sexy way but thanks for the clarification bro we appreciate yeah. that every no, time I, Shane I, well, some people I got to clear Miss yeah, Adverb yeah. shut your mouth shut your mouth Miss Adverb they're both are evil it's the lesser of the two no one is way worse way worse you're fucking wrong Miss Adverb and Miss Adverb I told you I already told you I'm going to take a wet towel and I'm going to smack you on both sides of your face when I see you because okay. it's hot and it'll you be a cold feel that. towel. You don't feel that. Yeah. You You'll feel it. it. It'll be a frozen Yo, towel. Yo, Savage AF. Saying, I know. Uh, Savage, I'm looking at the time real quick. Savage AF brought to you by um, the last. Fuck that. Brought to you by Pedro and Jay. <laughs> that's what we. That's what we doing, man. It's us. Shit. That's what we doing. And, and um, that's how we're going to build this shit to bigger and bigger and bigger. But we want to, since we only got a little bit of time left, I want to make sure that we jump into this last one. Pedro is right. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Vote, 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 vote Pennsylvania. We, uh, we ballots, however, and, uh, and fill them out properly, correctly, according to your beliefs. You know, nothing, you don't follow mine. Do, do your thing. But walk it in instead of mailing it in because they're fucking with the post office and you can circumvent that by walking it in. And this is a great state to exemplify that. Pennsylvania. Uh, so first of all, your deadline to register, right? Um, that's the first step. If you're not registered to vote, first of all, take one of your shoes and kick yourself in the teeth. Then yeah. go register to vote. You can do it online. Uh, it's, it's really not that hard. Like, yeah, just look, just put in my vote and you'll see it pop right up. And Pedro's right. If you are not registered to vote, see this hand, I want you to take this hand. I want you to grab this hand and take that hand and smack yourself 
with your own hand multiple times until you're unconscious. And then when you wake up, I want you to do it again until yeah. you get the point. That's uh, what we need to do. Your deadline to do that, um, and you can kick yourself until that deadline, is <laughs> October 19th, 10 19. So you have until then, Pennsylvania, to register to vote if you have it already. Okay? Right. Um, so that being said, the next most important step is that you can mail in your vote in Pennsylvania for any reason. And I love these states, right? It's not that you got to be a certain age. Any or, uh, reason. For any reason, you can request a mail-in ballot. So if you don't feel like standing in lines um, and you don't feel um, safe uh, going out and, in, in public spaces like that, a voting space, which is totally understandable, totally encourage it, go ahead and, and request your ballot. You have and drop it off. You have until October 27th, right, to request that ballot. Um, and this is it. This is the first state I've seen on this site. And this has just been an Apple News um, um, article that I, I picked up a few weeks ago that just kind of has a link to every state and, and how you can vote um, in, in that state. But this is the first one that I've seen that says you can go to your county election official's office or your county election's right. office. Um, and hand in your vote uh, at any time after you request it and, and get it and fill it out up until Election Day. So even on right. Election Day, instead of going to the polls, you can go in Pennsylvania to your county election office and just drop, and drop off, the shit off your also, ballot. And also, I want to say, if you know older people, because a lot of older people can't get out and can't get to the things they need to do, you can take theirs in for them. You can actually take older people that are, have difficulty and, and actually are susceptible to COVID so they don't want to get out in big, giant crowds. So you can do that shit. So all the people that don't want to do that shit, I hope you get knuckle bundle punched in your, your private parts to the point where you pee uh, blood. Okay, that was a little aggressive. I apologize because I have pee blood. I apologize. Yeah, no, so, no, 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 okay. No. So how about this? But, um, I hope that you get a whole though. bunch of dudes jump you and then they take your pants down and they all fart on you simultaneously yeah, that way you live right. you just smell like ass that's a tough day yeah it's hard to get through that man. yeah um but you know make sure that guys before we get out of here because I, I do have to go to work it's a monday no yeah we only got we only, we're, we're at we're, one minute <laughs> we're uh but understand that we are here monday through friday on ig live uh, mondays and fridays 3 p.m pacific standard time and then uh, Tuesday through Thursday, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, at Comedian Shane, at Black Pedro, at Savage at Black Pedro. Radio. Um, his electricity will be, uh, everything will be back on with the grid there. Things will be good. And I want everybody out there to make sure you stay safe. It's incredibly hot, so be careful because people are falling out. I mean, I'm, I'm not joking about that. They said two people fell out, and you can get heat stroke. I don't they know hydrated. if you've ever heard of that. That's I the truth. That's real shit. Huh? Yeah. Stay hydrated, y'all. Hydrate. I'm drinking coconut water, regular water, um, wine. There's water in that motherfucker. Uh, it takes wine to make grapes. <laughs> it's liquid. So, it's still liquid. Yep. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna be we're gonna be coming to you tomorrow. Make sure you know it's at 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Everything will be straight. Actually, I I really have. I will find out what blocks you know the calls and make sure everything is straight. So from now on, make sure that you know we're gonna be coming full blast with the new. YouTube page, our shit is going to be our shit, and we're going to put it out there. But we need y'all support to make sure we pop it off, okay? We do need y'all support. Thank y'all for we supporting know we us. Got, we know they with us, dog. They Savage AF, just yes. like we are. We appreciate y'all, man. We see y'all. All, all right, so, Pedro, be safe. I know you got to do your thing. Um, we let me. Yeah, I'm looking at the time. And everybody, make sure that y'all stay safe in this hot-ass weather. All right? Yep. Cool off. All right. We'll talk to you tomorrow night, y'all. Peace. All right, peace.